Our time in Myanmar has been really special. We love this country. It's honestly amazing. But we feel the need to be honest and transparent about our experiences, both good and bad. Mm-hmm. How are you feeling, honey? Literally the worst since we started traveling. Aww. And that's why we decided to make this video that shows exactly what happens when we get a serious case of food poisoning. after our scheduled departure time, so. Not only eight hours to go. this place right. what do you think is it warm no no you feel We started traveling. Um, I think we gotta go to the front desk now and tell them what happened. Yeah. Who cooked yeah, our dinner? Oh, uh, me. Dude, we've thrown up so many times. Sorry? We're vomiting. Yeah. Oh, we're really, really sick from dinner. I can't go away from the toilet for more than 15 minutes. I just threw up for the fourth time this morning. Yeah. She threw up all night. We haven't slept. And the morning, the breakfast, also the eating. It, it, was di- it was different food than what you cooked for breakfast. Okay. Nobody was at dinner last night when we were there. Our food is fed because our, our guests stay in one month. It's four people, five people, ten people. They, they eat here. Look, so I, I understand. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah, trying I, to upset you, but the only yeah. other thing we ate yeah, yesterday yes. was crackers, like from a box. Like we didn't eat anything else yesterday other than the food from your restaurant. So I don't know what else could have made us sick. I, I don't know what to tell you, but it was dinner. 
Well, are you pleased with the hotel's response? At least they're bringing us toast. It's the least they could do. They made us sick. It took them a while to even say, sorry that you're sick. They didn't say sorry, not once. I mean, he was just going on and on about how other guests aren't sick. It's like, well, I'm great for them, but... Nobody had dinner with us last night, and that's what we, that's what made us sick. Yeah, they're dying so well, and, you know, mistakes happen. I get that they don't want to admit liability, but it's like, come on, guys, just say you're sorry, and... Yeah. And they were waiting right outside our room when we went out. Jack got sick, he was throwing up, and then we went outside directly after, so I think they heard him getting sick. They've been, I think they've been hovering, waiting for us to surface. I'm a loud vomiter, it's true. He sounds like a dinosaur. Well, this is what our day has consisted of. Netflix and toast that we've been having the hotel bring us. I'm feeling better, but definitely not out of the woods yet. Still have a massive headache, a little nauseous, just freaking a trying day. I honestly don't remember the last time I've been this sick. Mm -mm. So, uh, so, so you got the first night? So, first night you sleep? Mm -hmm. yeah. Just... yeah, okay, honestly, it's fine. We just want to leave, so that, that's fine. Will you okay. take credit card? Yes, credit card. Okay. All right, we finally have set the checkout in motion. Yeah, we paid, so now we're just gonna book our next hotel pack and then head to the other one. Um, he ended up charging us for, we've been here two nights, so he charged us for one night plus the commission fee. Um, so it's kind of like paying for two nights, but uh, honestly, we're just glad he let us out of our four night reservation because we just did not want to be here. Oh, it's beautiful. So nice. We got upgraded to a suite, which just kind of feels like the universe's way of saying you've suffered <laughs> during the past few days. Here's a little something to make you feel better. And it's it's a really nice room. I'm super happy. Oh, no oh, way. Yes, we do. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is really nice. So the reason that we decided to publish this footage and do this video is definitely not to shame the hotel because if we've learned anything from this experience, it's that food poisoning is actually fairly common in Myanmar. We've talked to other travelers and in fact when we were sick, people messaged us and said, oh, when I was in Myanmar, I knew people that this happened to or it personally happened to me. So I guess just knowing that we're not alone makes it feel a little better, but at the same time, it still just kind of sucks. It's a big problem here, and um, we found a couple articles that kind of talked about it a little bit, um, but I think the bottom line that we have to stress is that, I mean, we were eating street food in Yangon. We ate at places that were way sketchier than the hotel restaurant, which was actually really nice. Um, so the moral of the story is you just don't know, like you could really get food poisoning from absolutely anywhere and you just have to be careful and take care of yourself and I know I for one was so grateful that I had Jack because I got sick maybe six hours ahead of him and so he was taking care of me when I was sick and vice versa, but I cannot imagine being that sick and being alone. So with all that said, we're still here in Emily Lake and we haven't seen a thing. So guys, make sure you hit subscribe because we're gonna get out soon. We're gonna go explore, see everything that there is to do and we're super excited to get out. And tomorrow, once we're feeling better, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, we're excited today. We just need one more day of just kind of resting up. But tomorrow, we're stoked. It looks really beautiful. And um, I don't know, we're just looking forward to feeling better again <laughs> and exploring and doing our thing. So, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. And the next video of Inley Lake will be a lot more exciting.